Hi. I feel like I somewhat need to explain myself. When I filmed that wishlist video, I honestly had no intention of going through with any of the purchases, but after I uploaded it, I kind of spiraled into a depressive state and ended up just blacking out, doing nothing but laying there, scrolling through Baiyi for an entire week. Literally, I did nothing else. What ended up shocking me back to life was when I got the notification of how much shipping was gonna cost. I don't even wanna admit that out loud. Not gonna lie, it was partly my fault because since I was just completely zoned out, I wasn't thinking about how heavy the items were and thus how expensive they were gonna be to ship. But that is not your concern. You just get to enjoy the happy aftermath of the parcel arriving. And if you're like, what the hell is Bahi? It's pretty much a proxy service popular for purchasing secondhand items from Japan. I'll talk more about the process of shopping on there and like tips and tricks and whatnot as we go along, but I really just want to dive into some of the items. I've actually really been liking the Union Jack t-shirt sort of trend, but like I always say, I prefer something a little bit more unique. That way you're more likely to wear it once it's past its peak of popularity, which is why I thought this was the perfect option because it doesn't scream Union Jack immediately, but the graphic is kind of arranged in that way and I really like the bleach wash of it and I mean come on this a hundred percent looks like something that Nobu would wear in Nana so I was instantly sold and I'm not gonna lie it does smell like washing powder but every now and again you get this light undertone of cigarettes which I feel like typically would bother me but for some reason it's just adding to the authenticity of the narrative that this belongs in the Nana universe. <laughs> the tag is RNA Pre-DNA Incorporation Alternative RNA Inc, which I'm not actually familiar with the brand. Typically, all I do is search brands that I know. So I'm guessing the caption had similar search terms such as Nana, Hysteric Glamour, stuff like that. The other graphic tee I picked up was just this X-Girl long sleeve with the strawberry graphic. I don't think this one is too old. I want to say that it was actually in store at the same time I was in Japan and bought my plaid bleach splattered dress so that's like 2018 but I really like the color combo and like any mentally ill Nana stand when I see something with a strawberry I need it wait I wanted to mention the prices as well the first shirt was 1500 yen I'll have the conversion on screen hopefully and then the x girl top was I didn't realize it was that expensive. The Exco top was 4,530, but I guess I felt like I really needed that one, huh? Okay, give me a chance to redeem myself with a truly fantastic find. Keeping in mind, I previously mentioned how I really liked the lace skirts, but wanted to find one with a bit of a twist. Well, let me present this beauty, the layered lace bow detail cream, which is what I was looking for, and for only a thousand yen. A thousand yen, are you kidding? And this was actually the only bottoms I got. I was just too scared to risk it, but with this, at least I could see that it was elasticated all the way around, and thankfully, it does fit. I'm actually so excited to style this one. This one was 5,000 yen, but I'm still considering it one of my best finds because it is this Vivian Westwood men's button up. Are you kidding me? The reason it was so heavily discounted was because it has two stains on it. The most significant one though is on the back of the collar. So I really wasn't too fast. And the other one is honestly hard to tell in certain lighting, but I'm hoping my mom can work some magic on it. If not, chances are eight times out of 10, I'm probably gonna wanna layer something over it anyway. I really like that it had the logo embroidered all over rather than just going for the one simple chest embellishment. Trust and believe I scrolled through that Vivian Westwood tag for a very long time, but I had set a boundary of not spending over $100 on any single item. There was a lot of temptation happening, but I'm glad I stuck to it. Actually, let's just keep that business casual vibe going because I did pick up a tie. There were a lot of really cool Vivian Westwood ones as well, but again, just a little bit too pricey. I ended up going for a Super Lovers one. They even sent the original bag it came with because I think it's actually new with tags. They had a couple of different colorways on offer. I was tempted by the more baby pink neutral sort of ones because I thought I might get more wear out of them, but I just couldn't say no in the end to the primary colors. Now that I'm looking at it, it probably leans a little bit Superman for some people, but to me, it was reminiscent of WJSN's subunit, Choco Me. That's the only super lovers item I ended up getting, but another great tag to scroll through. Most of the time when I stumble across a Baie haul on TikTok, there is a lot of hysteric glamour going on, so I was very excited, but was unfortunately 
very quickly humbled. And let me just preface this by saying I scrolled and I scrolled. I got to the very end. There was no next page to click. Heaps of cool stuff, but I'm guessing since it is one of the more popular brands to search, people tend to charge a little bit more for it. So I feel like on average, it was ranging from 100 to 250. I'm guessing a lot of those TikToks I see that people can actually fit into children's sizing because then it is a whole new ball game. that is so many cool children's clothes on there and the prices are way, way better like you can get hysteric glamour mini from like 15 to 50 dollars personally though i was really hoping to find either a t-shirt or a cardigan in their signature all over classic print which even if i could fit into the mini collection i don't think they would make but after many many hours of searching i finally found this cardigan i'm so happy with it it is this silver lurex thread as the base with of course the red and blue branding all over this is just gonna be so easy to throw on and not have to think about it and it'll be like the girls who get it get it honestly i said i was in my casual girl era but that might have been being polite because for the last couple of weeks i really haven't worn anything other than pajamas like putting together an outfit feels like so much effort to me and i feel like it's because i've spent too much time scrolling on tiktok and i just there's too much constant comparison going on where I'm like, I don't even want to try. But I'm hoping I'm going to get my spark back. This haul is going to fuel us with a bit more inspiration. Oh, and price-wise, um, obviously, under 100 It was 7800 which I thought was really good just in comparison to a lot of other sellers. When I went to this particular seller's site, they had a lot of pretty decent things for slightly cheaper than everyone else. I guess that is a smart move, means you're gonna sell your stuff quicker. Speaking of newfound inspiration, shall we take a short intermission? For the old magazines I have purchased, um, what I said, partly my fault about the shipping, this is what I'm talking about. I have a couple of Japanese magazines from when I was there in 2018 and 2020, and I find myself always coming back to them to flick through for some inspiration. There's something about the styles that just feel a little bit more timeless, so I thought it would be cool to get some from different time periods as well. I'm not gonna go into too much detail because I think I actually wanna save it for a dedicated video trying to recreate some of the looks, but I tried to get a bit of range of different publications that range from like the late 90s to the mid 2000s. Most of them were around the 790 yen mark. If you're looking for newer ones though, you can definitely get them for cheaper. If you're thinking about purchasing for yourself, I would recommend going with Kira. I just felt like it was the most bang for your buck. There's so much imagery jam-packed into these and it was also a good balance of having street style but also the more professional magazine shoots. And also can we just look at the difference in size compared to fruits? It's so sad. I hate to admit it, but I was kind of disappointed with my choice in Fruits magazine. I did want to go for something pre-2003, which this one was 2002 and still for a kind of reasonable price, like under $20. Most of the early edition ones are upwards of 50. I mean, it just comes down to personal preference. For me, the styles in this particular edition aren't overly adventurous. I would actually recommend purchasing the book that is like the best of. I've had that for years and definitely worth the money. Just quickly, I picked up some My Neighborhood Story stationery, which I just thought was the cutest. Obviously, I don't want to use it, but I did think it would be cute for little wall decorations. I mean, come on. Mikiko's fashion note by Happy Berry. This is too stinking adorable and she will forever be my style icon. Also on my wish list, I mentioned I had been searching for a bow printed graphic tee for months and months. And wow, did I find the final boss of all bow printed graphic tees. My God, I was really nervous this one wasn't gonna fit. The brand is Mezzo Piano, which is a children's brand. And looking up the conversions, I felt like I would want to go for literally the biggest children's sizing possible, which was 160. And a lot of the children's brands don't actually go up to that. But because I fell in love with the print so much, I was like, okay, let's just risk it just for this one item. And it was a size 140, but thankfully it fits just like a fitted baby tee sort of style. It kind of reminds me of something you would see from By Bambi. Actually, the only thing that ended up not quite fitting was this plaid dress, which was such a shame because I love the style so much. It's not a children's size that I was trying to squeeze into or anything. The brand is CDS. And I thought if anything, things wouldn't fit me around the hips 
hence why I wasn't really purchasing any bottoms. But in actuality, it ended up being around the chest. Something about these little cap sleeves and there's just not enough room in the armpit. So I can't quite zip up that last little bit. The other dress I picked up though, rave reviews. I love her. And the collar is actually detachable as well, which is such a neat trick if you're wanting to layer a different shirt underneath. This was from the brand Access Femme and 100% recommend scrolling through their search. So many gems for really good prices. This was 2000 yen, but if you're looking more at just tops or bottoms, it's more around the 1000 yen mark. For example, this gorgeous little baby blue tub. I don't know when this was released, but it looks like something people would be making currently with the little ribbon lace up detailing. The other top I got from them was this longer line singlet. It will be so perfect for cutesy summer looks, but I think I can also layer it up this time of year. I actually purchased a couple of things similar to this from Fashion Thrift Society here in Brisbane, and they were like 40, 45 dollars. This was 650 yen, so under 10 dollars. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry to keep referencing that wishlist video, but really it was the catalyst for all of this. I thought I was supposed to get it out of my system, but no, it went in the opposite direction because I ended up purchasing a bunch of Pinky Street figures. When I was showing Sam my haul, he was like, oh God, this looks like a dangerous new obsession, which I see where he's coming from because I have spent a lot of money on K-pop albums over the year, but this is significantly cheaper and I even picked up a bunch of ones that were already unboxed which I feel like if you were a collector you probably shy away from which meant these are really cheap. My favorite was this girly with the hat. I didn't love the other two she came with but I ended up also purchasing just a pack of randomized clothes and hair so I can switch them out. So for now I have six girls total and a bunch of bits and bobs. The only boxed one I picked up was this little baby because she does come with a book as well which I really wanted. The other thing that contributed to my oversized parcel weight were these two thick heavy winter coats. I think I'm actually going to save this one on top for an upcoming video and honestly you might end up seeing the second one in that same video but it's okay, we can be out for repeaters around here. And just so you know, I do realize I'm an insufferable broken record at this point, but come on. Tell me that Hachi from Nana wouldn't wear this exact coat. Attach its fur collar, pair it with some knee-high boots. I'm practically in a cosplay. And I would love to hear your guesses on how much you think this cost. Because the answer is 1,349 yen. Like, did I really need a winter coat? No, but for that price, Yes. I'm not sure how many people are gonna like this, but it is low-key actually one of my favorites. It has this adorable like vintagey mouse print on it. Like this is very cute to me. The brand is Muchacha Happy Clothes made in Japan and it's an extra large children's size, which instantly when I bought it, I knew the sleeves were probably gonna be too short, but thankfully they're the sort of sleeves that scrunch up nicely. My justification for this purchase is that according to my color analysis, this banana milk shade is supposed to be my best color. Another more wintry item, this sort of tunic situation, I guess. Actually from the photos, I thought that it was more of like a cream rather than a gray, which I think I would have preferred slightly, but I still love it. I really enjoy these like, what is this? Like wintry snowflake sort of pattern, which I blame on Bratz Wintertime Wonderland just infesting itself into my brain. I just thought this would look so cute. I have a teamed with tights and leg warmers, or if it feels a little bit too short, it would look really cool teamed over flare pants as well. The brand is Pomponette, Pomponette. I'm not too sure. I do think that they're mostly children's clothing, but this was in the 160. And although the style has been living in the back of my head forever, I've actually been actively hunting it down this year ever since I saw this SM Town performance where Winter was wearing this set from Sculptor. Obviously not the same but I am convinced this will satisfy that urge. At first I was a little disappointed that I wasn't having any luck with some of the more iconic brands you see in all the Bai hauls. I already mentioned some of them were too expensive but other ones just having a lot smaller size range like Daisy Lovers or Angel Blue and when you do see a couple of things in my size I was like 
I'm not in love with it. I would just be buying it for the sake of getting something from that brand, which seemed silly. I'm really happy with all the choices I made in the end. And keep in mind, you can actually pick up other like miscellaneous goods from those sort of brands. Like I got this set of Daisy Lovers glasses. They're so cute. Obviously very small if you want glasses bigger for drinking. They still work for a cute little decoration. I was very close to purchasing the infamous Angel Blue McDonald's collaboration cloth like it's so cool but it is very hard to find one in good condition for a good price a lot of them have quite the discoloration to them but by that point I already had it in my head that I needed a novelty clock so I ended up getting the slightly more basic Peko and Poco one it's just gonna match in with the aesthetic in this room perfectly as far as shopping on this site personally I found it easier to do on desktop rather than mobile because obviously Google Translate kind of kicks in I find it to be an easier experience just to shop on Macari Yahoo auctions I only check out if there's a specific item that I know I'm looking for most of the time you will still get results if you're searching in English especially if it's a more popular brand but I still always recommend translating it into Japanese first that way you'll get so many more items pop up depending on my mood I'll either search from price low to high or sometimes I'll do newly listed especially if it's a tag I've already searched through a bunch I'll leave a list of all the brands I like to search for a lot of the time you find more as you go because there'll be like related search terms and I do find on Macari it's best to go for a particular brand as opposed to when I'm on Australian Depop and I can go for a more vague search term. And also if you're into J fashion, please feel free to recommend any brands that I should search for next time. When you find things you like, you can add them to your cart. Depending on how much I am in love with the item, depends on if I let it sit in my cart for a while while I'm browsing other things, or if I wanna purchase it immediately because I know I'd be upset if someone else snatched it up. Obviously, since they're from all different sellers, you don't have to worry about waiting and checking out all at once. You'll notice that there is a buy fee for their service, but there is also an additional plan fee, but you can actually switch that to be zero yen. It just means that you won't have um, like shipping insurance. But honestly, if you're buying a lot of things, that 500 yen is really gonna add up. So for me, I was like, I'm just gonna risk it. Zero yen is fine from what I've heard. That's what most people do and no one really ever seems to have an issue. But with that being said, I would actually be interested in trying different Japan shipping services because I've heard there's others that have less fees than Bai, but I guess just aren't as popular. So if you guys have any experiences, let me know your thoughts. So once you've made your purchase, it's not sent directly to you. It's actually sent to the Bai warehouse and they store them there for free for up to 30 days, I believe, which means you have that wiggle room Room to keep browsing, be patient, get the best finds you can. And then once everything you've purchased has arrived in the warehouse, you can consolidate your shipping so it gets shipped to you in one big box. Please be more careful than me and consider how heavy the items you're purchasing are. Obviously, if you're just picking up a couple of summer tops, shipping isn't gonna be as insane. It might be depending on where you live, but for me, they gave a few different shipping service options and DHL ended up being the cheapest and fastest. And I found this kind of weird, but I kept seeing comments from people saying that once you've consolidated your parcel, you need to email the Baiyi team and tell them that you want them to remove any excess packaging from the original shipping, like any excess boxes and stuff like that, which I was like, what? Isn't that common sense? Can't they just do that for you? But no, you actually do have to email them and ask them because after I had done that, the shipping cost, believe it or not, actually did dramatically change. I think that's all the knowledge I have on the topic. At the end of the day, it comes down to patience because that's kind of what had put me off by in the past because you don't get like quick search results of exactly what you're looking for. You really do have to dig as though you literally were in the thrift store. But if you're into J fashion styles and have some time to set aside, I do think it was worth it in the end, at least for me. You'll be seeing a bunch of this in upcoming videos, but let me know what finds were your favorite and hopefully I see you really, really soon. Bye!